The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Everybody get up. Hello guys. Hey guys! Welcome to the Girls of 28. I'm Mariana Hanut and this is Trisha. So tonight we are not interviewing anyone. Nobody. Either. <laughs> we have a topic. Well, we just want to show you guys what's happening besides the podcast. Mm -hmm. So last week we just shot our new opening, Trisha and I. Check out the video. Season 4. It's going to be good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sean, Armenta, and uh, Zhang Zulueta for uh, the pictures, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the makeup. Also, the hotel. Picasso Hotel. They're a boutique hotel on Levesti Street in Salcedo Village. They're really cool. So if you guys need somewhere to stay, go and check yourself in there. But that actually wasn't our new opener. That was just um, some behind-the-scene footage of one of the new pictures we have for season four. So we yeah. didn't want to show you the video, the video yeah. because we don't want to give away too much because you guys are just going to have to tune in next season, which I think we're back January 10. But we still have a few yeah. more weeks to go before we end this season. But yeah. So um, tonight we want to bring a little bit of awareness for you guys of what's happening in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So we know that on November 9, Typhoon Yolanda happened, right? And so many cities are destroyed and so many people died. As of now, 5,000, more than 5,000 people is dead. Mm -hmm. And we have a support Red Cross. So we've yep. been doing a lot of volunteering work. We've been uh, packing, we've been trying to get goods to donate to people. And I would like to thank you so much, guys, for all the help. And um, everybody was tweeting me, asking where to volunteer. So we got like warehouses and um, where you could deliver goods. So thank you NBC10 to allow us to, you know, for four days, we got your space to, to deliver the goods, to do the packing. And um, Red Cross are quite good. The thing that I like about Red Cross and why the girls of 28A are big supporters of them. I remember when Julie was here, we did a fun run with them. What was that? Yeah, you um, organized us no, to do that. The fun run was for, um, I, I think, a feeding program. But okay. Red Cross, you know, they can really uh, deliver the goods to the mm -hmm. places, you know. So it's an organization where we can trust. Yes. Um, and that's the biggest problem here is the trusting where the money's going and where yeah. the relief goods are going. So yeah, so Red Cross are good, which is why, as I said, we support them. And then this is a website. Yeah, well, one we of the options as well is like if you're abroad or if you're just afraid to donate your money, you can go to Goodstock PH. So it's a partnership that we've mm -hmm. done. And they're, they're uh, allowing us to use their platform, mm -hmm. their online platform to donate. So you can just like buy a kit, buy like food, and, and it goes directly to the typhoon yeah. people. Okay, cool. But wait, apart from the Red Cross stuff and the volunteering and the organizing and everything as well, you do, you have another business aside from the podcasting and the charity work and the modeling and all that kind of stuff. What's that? Because I find that so interesting about Mariana. She's a gorgeous girl, but she's so intelligent, <laughs> business minded, everything. You know, so, um, you know I am from Brazil and I do love my country, but now I live in the Philippines. So mm -hmm. I was trying to find a way of connecting both countries and, and making the Philippines grow as well. So yeah, I, I export some things and it's just, you know, with my spare time mm -hmm. and um, just going back to the Yolanda, um, some people tweeted me that, oh, Mariana, you weren't in the Red Cross chapter um, packing. <laughs> I was somewhere. No, it's because, not that um, not that you weren't there packing. They were hoping to see you and meet you. Yes. That's what yes. it was. So The thing was, um, we had a lot of drop-off points. Mm -hmm. 
So I was moving around like the fort and at the NBC 10, Makati, mm -hmm. or their headquarters. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm sorry if you didn't see me. I hope I can meet next time. <laughs> um, we've been also getting so many tweets about boys' stuff. So they mm -hmm. wanted us to talk a Tweets little bit Tweets and more. emails and, and messages on our Facebook page yeah. and, and just everything. Yeah. The girls want more boys' advice and uh, we would love to talk a little bit more about it here. But we have to, you know, have a variety of topics. So Trisha mm -hmm. has a YouTube channel that will help you a lot. Mm -hmm. So basically what the reason why I've decided to start this is because Mariana is so busy when it comes to all her charity and then her business that she's got going as well. She has a charity website that's going to be coming up, you know, probably next year sometime yeah. maybe. Um, and so we do get a lot of emails about boy advice and Trish, what kind of guys do you like? And Mariana, what kind of guys would you want to date and all this kind of stuff. So what I've done is, is I've just started a YouTube channel, which is just an extension of 28A. So if any of you guys out there or any of you girls want to ask me those kind of questions that we don't answer here because we want to make sure that we can answer all the questions that all you guys are asking us. And sometimes it's just the littlest question, but we can't fit it into our podcast anywhere because we're interviewing someone or, and some of them are great, you know, like one of the emails that we got was, um, you know, how come, how come girls always flirt with boys if they've got a, 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 boy a boyfriend, <laughs> which we've been meaning to answer for quite a while, but we just haven't found the right guest to, to sit and talk about it with. So yeah, maybe in the next season. Yeah, maybe. So basically this YouTube channel, go check it out, subscribe to it. Um, even if you email us at the girls of 28 a and you have the boy questions and there's also some beauty tips or whatever, if any kind of things basically that we can't answer here, I will answer on the YouTube channel, literally in like a minute video or a minute 30 seconds maximum you'll probably see me in my pajamas or at some hideous Wait. time of the day <laughs> you do have a blog as well right yeah Ish? and I've got a blog as well I've always kind of blogged everyone kind of blogs now these days um, but people have been asking a lot about fashion and and things like that and it's something that I don't really I kind of shy away from the whole let's talk about fashion. Like I love getting dressed up and I love playing dress ups with my girlfriends, but it's nothing really I, I like to kind of delve into too much. So the blog that I have, which I've actually always had, I've had probably for the last year and a half, I think, and um, is Trisha Centenera, a balancing act, um, TV host, actress, model, and now it is going to be showing you fashion and behind the scenes and some adventures in that 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 I get on and, and around and whatever. So check those two things out if you, ca if you can, guys. What else can we quickly recap on for the week and, and stuff that's been happening? Just because we're not having a full episode uh, tonight. Uh, Twitter. Yeah, we can read some Twitter. OK. Um, we decide that every episode, we're going to be reading somebody's tweet. Mm -hmm. So please, guys, tweet us. Whatever you want to say, we're going to be choosing one person per episode. Yeah. And today? Today we have Matt Panetta. He has written, he has written into us. He wrote, finally saw the new episode of the Girls of 28A, been waiting for it. Another great one. Good job, ladies. Trisha, Julia and Mariana. So thanks, Matt, for email, uh, tweeting us about that. Also as well, the same guy, which is why we decided to choose him for the week, is he actually wrote a personal uh, twi tweet to Julia, which we just thought was the cutest thing because Julia <laughs> is actually going to be missing for the next two weeks because she is like finals are here. So he just wrote, Julia, how was your exams? So are you studying on one of the episodes, on one of the previous episodes of the Girls of 28 a Hope it went well. So Julia, we love you. Good luck. All love and support from all of us here at the Girls of 28A and here, your Manila family. We hope that you ace your exams. You know, we can't wait for her to finish, actually. I know. And, you know, FaceTime with us and be in the show with us completely, even though she might not be physically here, but we are keeping the show mm -hmm. and Julie's is still with us. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Julia always... Even if she's not here, she still has a lot of input. You know, could you imagine her not 
have an input on something though. So of course she still has an input on all of our episodes and and yeah, because we know we all sit and we all write the episodes ourselves. So if there's anything that you guys want to see, I think we have three weeks left, Gian. Do we have three weeks left this week? Yeah. Three, two to three weeks left for for the end of 2013. Oh my gosh. Um, would you mind but, put the picture again for about the Red Cross? Yeah. Um, so if you guys still want to donate, because you know the people from Yolanda really needs to rebuild houses they and do. everything. They do. You check out the Red Cross website or goods.ph. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to share a story that just came into my mind. <laughs> Uh, because while I was like um, at the NBC 10, mm -hmm. packing the goods, a really old woman arrived and she was blind. And she was, she was full of bags, like a lot of guys bringing bags and boxes in. Yeah. And she came to talk to me and, and she, her, I couldn't barely hear her voice. And she told me, I'm really sorry, I can't help more but I brought you medicine and she donated more than 100,000 worth wow. in medicine that went to Red Cross. So thank you so much. She didn't want to leave her name. So it just I goes thank to show, you with yeah. all my heart. It just goes know? to show that everyone and anyone is capable of, of giving something. May it be a thousand pesos to a hundred thousand pesos to just time if you don't have extra pesos to give. The other foundation that I've supported as well is MSA, which is Manila Surf Association. We did a really big auction one night at a Japanese restaurant in Makati and they raised a lot of money. What we did was everyone, all the surfers and all the Manila surfers all got together and they donated surf goods. And people got to auction things off and it was quite funny because I was there and I was bidding for this one hat, really? <laughs> this DC hat that I, that I saw and I really, really wanted and, and I kept putting my hand up and, and the price just kept going up and up and up and it went through the roof to past what the hat was actually worth. But at the end of the day, it was it for a good cause. Yeah. I think everyone spent way more than what they would have if they were just shopping for it. So it just goes to show that there are different associations out there who are just doing everything that they can. But I think that what Mariana's point is, is that it's an ongoing thing. You know, we really need to continue yeah, in a couple of months. We forget and, about that. Yeah, so. Because, you know, a lot of people from outside the Philippines is helping. A lot of countries who need so much money, though it will, people will forget about it, you know. Yep. But these people, they lost their lives. They it's going to be years, houses, years you know? in the in in rebuilding. Yeah. So, so if you still want to help, check out goods.ph yep. or Red Cross website. Yep. And that's it. So we hope that you guys liked our really short recap of what's been going on here in Manila, apart from, you know, the podcast and other things that you can kind of check us out on. And we will see you guys next week with a guest who we are not going to tell you who it is. You just have to keep an eye out on our Twitter account and on our Facebook account. So, so I yeah. see you next week. Yep. Thank Bye. you for watching us. Bye. <laughs>